Good morning, boys and girls. Are you ready for your Bible lesson for the morning? Good. I am so happy that I am here and that you get to listen to this wonderful Bible story. Remember, if it's from the Bible, you know it's true. So this day this morning and our lesson is going to be about how Joseph is sleeping and he hears an angel calling him and asking him to do something for God. All right, so listen, it's a short story, but it's a very nice story that I hope you enjoy. It's from Matthew 2, 13 through 18. It says, when they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. Now, boys and girls, can you imagine? His heart was probably pounding so hard. Joseph woke up and he was like, what was that? What Was it a dream or, or did somebody really ask me to go and wake Mary up in the night and tell her, get baby Jesus and we need to go and away from here because if we don't, then her king, remember, the king, King Herod would come over and want to kill the baby. Imagine how they felt in the middle of the night. It was dark and they needed to get out of there quickly. And it was true. It was true, boys and girls. Mary had to trust Joseph, right? And she did. She got up. She, she um, put blankets on the baby. And then they left and they went to Egypt and they stayed there until it was safe to come back. Now, boys and girls. We need to make sure that, you know what? We trust God too, right? Just like Joseph did when he sent that angel. So we are going to look at this paper that will go along with the story. And I hope that you like it. I'm going to share my screen. And it is an awesome paper that shows Joseph how uh, it he is, boys and girls, laying down asleep. And then what happens was that he sees the angel. So you're going to see it right here. You see how Joseph is sleeping and there's the angel looking over him. And he is thinking maybe he's dreaming. But then he wakes up and he realizes that through God, the angel was telling him to do something and he needed to listen. So he woke up and he went to go in to where Mary was sleeping and baby Jesus and they left. So boys and girls, just look at the color key. This is how you complete the paper. And you just look for the right shape and you look up on top and see what color is the one that matches the shape. And then you can shade it in. For example, I'll go ahead and we'll just look here at the jug. You see how it, there's a square? It is a red. The square is red because on top of the crayon is red and it has a square in it. So you're just going to take your red crayon and shade in everywhere that it is where there is a square. Okay, so there it is. And that's just an example. You can do a much better job than I did. But boys and girls, if you have a question, ask your mom or your daddy, but I know you probably have this already and know what you're doing. On the bottom of the paper, it says, an angel told Joseph to go to Egypt. So boys and girls, remember how nice, how beautiful it is that Joseph trusted the angel because he knew he was sent from God and he needed to do this, right? So just like him, we need to trust right? Just like Joseph did. So boys and girls, let me go ahead and stop sharing. And boys and girls, let's go ahead and let's just pray, Lord. So please bow your head. Dear God, thank you for watching over us. Thank you for protecting baby Jesus and his family. 
Thank you for everything that you do for us. We love you and we are always going to trust you, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope that you like the story and now you can go back and color your sheet, all right? I love you, I miss you, and we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day.